let's dive right in. We're going to start by grabbing the default cube, hitting X and deleting it. From there, I'll hit Shift A, add in a simple plane, scroll in to zoom, then tab into edit mode, right click, choose subdivide, hit Shift R to repeat that once, and we'll tab back into object mode. I'll hit F2 and rename this to Kagome Lattice. And then I'll come to the modifier properties, add in a very simple triangulate modifier, hover over this and hit Control A to apply it. I'll hit seven on my number pad for a top view, tab into edit mode, hit R, Z, minus 45 to rotate, then S, Y, and 0.6 to scale in. I'll drag a box over this chevron shape right here, hit Control I to invert that selection, and then X and delete the vertices. I'll then grab the center vert right there, hit X and dissolve that vertice. And this little shape is going to be the repeat unit of our infinitely repeating Kagome lattice. Tab back into object mode, add an array modifier, and keep the default setting of one in the X direction and add minus 0.4 to the Y. Then enable merge, and if you hit Z and drag to wireframe, you can see we have now created this shared edge between one of these triangles and a hexagon. I'll apply this array modifier, and then add in another one. And this is going to let me control how many units I'd like to have in the X direction, remembering to enable merge. For the Y direction, very simply, I'll add in another array modifier, change the X factor to zero and the Y to 0.57125. Then I'll enable merge again, and I can drag this value up. This is going to give me essentially complete control over how large a Kagome lattice I'd like to have, defined by its sort of six-sided star infinite repeating pattern. If I wanted to, I could of course add extra features to this. So hitting Z and coming into solid view, I'll very simply add a wireframe modifier, remembering to enable boundary. And then I'll also add in a bevel modifier with a count of two. And for a thickness of 0.02 in the wireframe, I'll go with a bevel amount of 0.005. Then if we zoom in, right click, shade smooth, you can see we have these fine, nice wires that are going to connect all of our points. If you wanted to, you could also explore all kinds of other things, such as displacement modifiers, particle systems to add atoms, or you could even take this over to the new geometry node system that's coming for Blender 3. This is 2.93 at the moment, and you could add all kinds of little animation effects or separate the edges, all kinds of fun things. You could, of course, also explore this for creative purposes, such as the thumbnail of this video. But for now, that wraps everything up. If you found this interesting or useful, consider subscribing, sharing with your friends and colleagues. Many thanks to all my supporters on Patreon, as always. And this has just been a fun little exercise for creating a somewhat unique lattice that you don't see too often in general science. As always, thanks for coming out, and until next time, you have yourselves a great old day.